Hello everyone, this video will explore the amazing functionalities in NeoReader's TOC tab, Table of Contents. Of course, this is the basics. You can expand, collapse the Table of Contents of the sections. You can jump to specific pages like this. Uh, go to the TOC tab and you see there are sections if your PDF supported. Uh, you can navigate through different pages. So you can choose to sort the sections in the original order or the reversed order. You can also choose to collapse or expand all the sections. And you can expand it to whole page. And you can quit back to your documents. So here is the interesting part. In addition to the traditional table of contents, you also have three other tabs. This one is a bookmark. So the pages you bookmarked using this button will be shown here. So let's bookmark another page here. So I bookmarked two pages now. Let's go back and see. OK, it shows up here. So those bookmarks gave you the section names, gave you the time and page number. And you can also sort them. You can decide what to show here, bookmarks or OCR. So let's talk about OCR in another video. In this video, it's just a bookmark. So the other tab here, a round bubble with three dots, is your highlight and your annotations. So let me quickly disable the scribble function so I can use my pen to make highlights. So I select something here. So this is a highlight. And I turn to a different page. OK, select something more and uh, make an annotation. So just know this. OK, update. OK, let me make one more annotation. I select something else. And uh, what about change it a little bit? Yeah and add a note. So Jeffrey's prior. OK. So let's go back to the TOC. So now in this section, you have the all the notes. So the first one doesn't have any annotation. The second and third one has something. So you can select individual highlight or annotation. You can select them all. You can delete them, of course. And you can export them. So let's just export to the local storage. Successful. Let's go ahead and see how it looks. So this is exported notes. It has the Reno's book name, uh, device, uh, section numbers, time, page number, and notes, and with your annotation all in the same txt file. You can also export it to email too, or send to your note-taking services. I believe it supports a few of them. OK, now let me re-enable the scribble and make some scribble on the PDF directly. So I make some marks on some sentences. So let's make a mark on a figure. OK, just know this. OK, let's make one more here. OK, so go back to the TOC. The last tab is where your oil scribbles. So you can directly jump to the scribble you made with the thumbnail. You can still select them and export them. You can select all, you can sort them, you can delete, and you can export in PDF or PNG. So let's export to PDF. You can choose how your handwritten notes look like, the color of it. And uh, let's choose red and export location and uh, success. So we can have a look.
So only the three pages that you have handwritten notes are exported. And uh, this is the option. You can keep the uh, table of contents with the exported document. I believe this is in the export settings. So basically that's all about the exported handwritten notes. It's, you can read it just like any regular documents. You can use the uh, this kind of view to quickly recognize your handwritten notes. One thing I find a bit annoying is you need to have additional click to go to the TOC. For example, here, you need to click on it. And if you use it next time, it will not leave in the TOC tab. It will rather leave in the different tab. So to solve this, I found a way to customize your floating toolbar and leave the TOC shortcut there. So in this way, you'll always have the TOC shortcut as a floating toolbar icon here. So yeah. So you can always access to the TOC functionalities. So another hidden setting is in the settings and export setting. So you can decide what to export about those highlights and notation and your handwritten notes. You can include time, chapters, page numbers, something like that. And you can decide which are the directories you want to save it. So yeah, all the settings are there. So if you want, you can export to other accounts like Yodao, CloudNote, Evernote, Dropbox, or OneNote. I personally don't use them, so you can try if you do. So yeah, this is an overview of the functionalities in the TOC tab in NeoReader. I hope this is useful, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.